After a rocky first month of the 2023-24 campaign, Arizona State women's basketball entered December in search of a sense of clarity and identity. However, as the calendar turns to 2024, it seems they may have discovered more questions than answers. Following the sudden conclusion to the Brianne January Classic with the cancellation of the game against Xavier on December 2nd, the Sun Devils would only play four times for the rest of the month, all of which played in the greater Phoenix area. The first two of which in Tempe, pitting ASU against two of its nearby neighbors and both ending negatively in different ways. On December 9th, a matchup against Grand Canyon exposed a lack of depth for the Sun Devils, as the Lopes scored 21 points off their bench and a dominating third quarter powered GCU to a narrow 66-59 win in DFA. The following week, ASU held their final home Territorial Cup before the Wildcats and Sun Devils bounced to the Big 12 next season, in which Arizona dominated thanks to a 28-8 second quarter and a staggering 13 made shots from beyond the arc to bludgeon ASU 91-52. Nevertheless, the tide turned for the Sun Devils once they left their own arena and instead traveled 11 miles west to play on the most prominent court in the valley, the Footprint Center. There, ASU would put on an offensive clinic in downtown Phoenix on December 20th as they reached 80 points in a game for the first time this season against Fresno State, thanks heavily to 50 points in the paint and 20-plus point performances by Kadisha Torre and Jalen Brown, carrying the Sun Devils to a narrow 80-76 victory. However, just when ASU thought they were taking a step forward, they treaded back in the wrong direction last Saturday in a 10-point loss to the University of Santa Clara by a score of 65-55 on the DFA floor. ASU's late-game discipline and ability to close was heavily tested against the Broncos, and according to head coach Natasha Adair, it's a problem that must be addressed going forward. These are teachable moments. There's a lot of film, and you just have to go back and, and, and really continue to show, hey, this is, this is the moment in the game where we have to get this rebound. Free throw rebound, they can't be the first one to that, that free throw rebound. We have to make sure we get it. The Sun Devils finished the month two and three, in a month where they didn't have to leave the Valley at all and played very little games. Now Adair's squad will need to answer their laundry list of questions quickly as ASU prepares for its final conference schedule in the Conference of Champions ever. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Max Cepeda.